And here I have Castle Earth again. If you don't have the luminance pencils, then just go for your darkest brown. Castle Earth is the darkest brown that I have in my luminance set. And here I have a bright, a bright red, pale geranium lake. I think I'm going to do some sharpening. Yesterday, I went to Rotterdam to my favorite Arch, art store big changes there they um, started uh, things changed they are no longer uh, by themselves they are now I don't know the English words you know when uh, they went bankrupt and then a large art store from Germany. They bought uh, the bankrupt company. There's that uh, large tractor again in the background. <laughs> anyway, they uh, went bankrupt and then a German art, art supplies company, they, uh, they bought the bankrupt company. Here I have Pink Meadow Lake. Uh, so a lot of new money was um, invested and they gave the shop a huge update and I had to see it. So I went to Rotterdam yesterday and I filmed what Pencil Heaven looks li like right now. Um, let's just show you right now. Let's do some more work on the background and I'm going to start with this one. Sky Blue Polychromos. Uh, look. I like using that blue. Quite a lot uh, of this pencil has been used already. Yesterday, when I went to my favorite shop, you know, I showed you a small video. It was, uh, it was a hot trip. The quickest way to go to uh, Rotterdam, the city of Rotterdam, from where I live is to take the bus and then go to Rotterdam 
and then you take the subway and then in it's about 30 minutes I am uh, it takes 30 minutes to uh, go to that shop that is in the city center of Rotterdam on the way back home the bus um, had a problem with the air conditioning can you imagine 30 degrees Celsius no air conditioning and that reminded me of uh, what I remember from when I was a child when I was a child cars didn't have air conditioning so when it was hot in summertime you were hot too and it really felt like uh, a furnace yesterday Luckily, we were uh, there were only four passengers and the bus, bus driver and she was so uh, smart of uh, opening the hatches. There were two hatches in the roof. She opened them. So there was a tiny little bit of uh, a release of heat. Hyacinth, hyacinth blue erogeton. Now I will have to make a decision about the background. What do I want to do with it? Um, yeah. I think I want to keep it a little bit sketchy, I think. I think I like that. And over here, I think I need to work on this first. How about this one? the pale yellow by Pablo let's see what happens oh no that's not working it is so light that it doesn't make a connection to the with the green how about this one polychromos light green let's give it a try
I did not expect this, but for some reason I'm in the coloring flow. So I really have to, uh, I want to uh, take advantage of it, take advantage of it, you know. Finding your creative flow is not always uh, that easy. But with this butterfly it seems, uh, yeah, it's working. Let's try a little bit of pink meadow lake over here. And I'm looking for these organic shapes, you know, like this. Can you see that? It looks just all very random and organic and uh, you can make your back background any way you want it you could even use different uh, medium not pencil but uh, watercolor for example or ink tents or pastels just do whatever you like. You can't go wrong. And here I have pale yellow Pablo. Let's see, does that work here? And here I have sky blue again. And like this, slowly, slowly, the background is uh, evolving. So let's uh, take a step back. This looks uh, very promising. I like it. Now, as you can see, the uh, area here this is the wing, but very close to the body, and it looks like there are some sort of hairs over here. And as you can see, my butterfly doesn't have that yet. So I need to make hairs here, and this is my black pencil, polychromos, and I'm using an extremely light touch, and I'm going to sharpen it to an even sharper, more sharp Point, sharper point, yes. So here is a very sharp point. I'm just putting in these hairs, and I will use other colors as well. But first, a couple of black lines. Very sharp point. If you're not sure you can do this then practice on a sheet of practice paper that could really help you out here i have a color called burnt ochre polychromos again because polychromos is great for doing detailed work.
Oh, I just ran downstairs. I heard a car stop in front of the house. And I thought that could be the mailman. And it was. And then <laughs> I could see him uh, searching all the packages in his van. But then he drove off again. And I'm still waiting for a... Uh, here I have black again. I'm still waiting for that package from that pencil company. But it's still not here. It would be wonderful if that package would come before I go on vacation because then I can take whatever they are sending me uh, with me on vacation and then I can do some uh, testing and trying and then when I get back I can do a review but so far no no package Well, that's a good thing also, because as soon as that package arrives, I'm completely distracted, of course. Oh, I need my glasses. So, I have my glasses on. Yeah, one of my uh, bad habits is that I'm easily distracted by so many, so m Oh, look at that! Going to show you something. Oh, look what flew here. Tiny little ladybird. Beautiful. Oh! Well, I think I'm going to save it and put it outdoors. So, it's uh, out of the window. That's much better place for a ladybird. Here I have uh, burnt ochre. Oh, I must keep my light touch very important. Very important. And let's go to this one. Pale yellow. Now I actually want to try to get a tiny bit of castle earth here, but that is it's a bit of a challenge because these luminance pencils, although you can sharpen them into a very sharp point, the leads are quite soft, so making very thin lines is difficult. I don't think it's going to work, so. But that's okay, no problem. Let's come back to the uh, Polychromos Black. Works much better when it comes to these fine lines.
and I think oh I'm completely out of focus I'm so sorry about that so I was just doing this it's that ladybird I forgot to refocus I have Castle Earth again. That looks good. Yeah, that looks good. Now over here there should be a touch of darkness also. now and then in the end it will all come down to the question how much detail do you wish in your drawing too much detail is not good not enough detail isn't good either and this here should be Let's see, this should not... I don't know what I did here, but this looks a bit strange, all that yellow here. I think where is the sketch yeah I just lost a little bit here there is another yellow blob here So maybe you got it. I think I lost a couple of lines while tracing. But that's no problem. I can fix it.
So I'm just taking a look. There is some work I need to do over here, here around this red area. There is a little bit of black also. Let's see how that works. Same here. And here, between the blue dots and the rest, there is the same like this, but then a little darker. So I'm just going in with my black pencil first. I'm so happy with my reading glasses. I, I had no idea I needed them, but what I noticed was, was it looked like I wasn't able to put my the tip of the pencil exactly in the place where I wanted it to be. So first I thought, what is this? What, it, what is, is this more a problem of my hands or? But then it turned out I wasn't just seeing properly Castle Earth. And then obviously your hand cannot find the right place. And I had it last night, it happened again, you know, I went I took a painting to my bed. I love coloring and painting in bed. And uh, I started painting without reading glasses and I noticed that I became, my hand became sloppy. So I suddenly started coloring painting outside the lines, so to speak. So that is really something I should keep in mind because I really uh, I love this so much I don't want to uh, to ruin the joy so from now on reading glasses belong to my coloring equipment and I have to anticipate because the eyes will deteriorate as I grow older. So maybe I should buy a stronger, some stronger glasses also just that I have them once I need them. I'm constantly checking reference photos and they are not all, they don't all look exactly the same like this butterfly, but that's okay. I'm going to make my own unique butterfly.
the heat is uh, extraordinary right now but I will continue the next few days it's only going to be hotter so oh, if I want to color I will have to suffer <laughs> these days here I have cobalt blue Oh, I have to sharpen this one. There's a lunar eclipse on the way next Friday. When when these videos are online, it's already uh, it's already done. But uh, it's interesting because here in the Netherlands, the moon will rise. Uh, as an eclipsed moon and I think that could be quite spectacular so I think I will be out Friday night outdoors take a look at that moon and we have a uh, a recreational area where you can have a great look at the night sky here I have helio blue reddish so and it's just out oh, it's the area where the the trauma chopper touched down a while ago a while ago I had a video with a trauma helicopter in it over there you can have a 360 degrees view of the night sky so I think I can take a look there at that eclipsed moon and they said you can also watch um, Jupiter And with a good pair of binoculars, you would be able to see the rings. I've never seen that. So, sky blue again. I have a telescope in the attic, but um, I could try to to use it. But it was a very cheap one. It was nice to watch. To look at the moon it is great but to look at planets it is um, it's not really possible um, and that has nothing to do with uh, it, that telescope is uh, too unstable so as soon as you have you found the planet and then you bump even a teeny tiny bit you lost that planet and it's very easy to uh, to bump into that uh, telescope it's very unstable it's nice it's a nice uh, you you I would al almost say it's a toy but it's nice to look at the moon. You can look at the moon with it. That's nice. My sister is in the United States right now with her family. She's visiting family over there. And they are uh, having... Uh, couple of weeks of holidays they are also visiting a couple of state parks west from New York I believe it looked all very beautiful on the pictures okay well we're getting somewhere 
here is a strange thing. Wow, I'm actually very pleased with it. <laughs>